Hi, my name is Drew Jablonowski with Garage Gurus. And today we had a, a customer bring us a vehicle. Uh, it's a 2020 Dodge Ram Bighorn 1500, uh, four wheel drive with a 5.7 Hemi. Um, they've had it at a, a shop already uh, for a high speed uh, vibration and a noise over bumps. Uh, I think around 40 miles per hour, they said. Thought this would be a, a great tech tip um, because it's not a super common uh, issue. So at least that I've seen. Um, so if you have seen it, you know, feel free to, to leave some, some comments uh, below. You know, we already assumed, and it, it is an assumption, that the person uh, who worked on it before did a great job balancing the tires um, and, you know, shook it down. So we went ahead and checked the balance anyways, uh, as we should, and the balance turned out uh, fine. Um, and we shook it down and we didn't see anything. So we're like, all right, uh, this is a little interesting. So, you know, we lifted it up, we took a little bit of a, a deeper dive underneath and there were some, uh, you know, high level indicators for me that we had something going on. Um, and basically you could see it right here is this rust on, on uh, the subframe um, over here. Uh, you can see there's some rust coming down um, on the differential as well as some rust on the subframe. So everybody in the South, you're like, what the heck is all that rust talk? Uh, well, here in Michigan where we're recording this, you know, we have all the salt on the roads in the wintertime that salt can get into you know, small crevices and cracks. Um, and then it can just, it turns into rust. It eats away at the metal, right? All right, so what's that high level indicator of? Well, I don't know, but I know that it's got rust here and here. What's along that area that can spew that rust? Well, the CV shafts, all right? So you know, I decided to take a, a little bit of a deeper dive um, with these axles and the CV shaft. Um, and basically it was pretty easy. Uh, just to grab it and shake it. And you can see that this has an incredible amount of movement um, in it. This one here, not as much, but it's, it's starting, all right? So you might get a little bit of movement, um, but it's, it, it's starting to move a little bit too much. I'm gonna end up pulling this differential down, and taking it over to the bench, show you a, no, a known good one, um, and show you this bad one. Uh, but what I can tell you on the, on the differential, uh, on the stub shafts, there's a spring clip on the end, which we know that spring clip is there to retain uh, the CV shaft on there. And then there's actually an O-ring. Well, that O-ring is to help keep that water and salt out of there. So my assumption is that this O-ring has failed. It's allowed that salt and water to go in there, which is in turn um, just eaten away at the inside of this, this half shaft and or the stub shaft. I won't know until I take it apart, but let me go ahead and take this one out. Um, and then I'll meet you over at the bench and we can show you what we were working with here uh, versus what a brand new one looks like. We got the, the differential out of this vehicle now. So we got the old differential, the new differential. Um, you know, you can see the difference here with, it's got the motor mount still attached to it. Really easy job, believe it or not, uh, to get this out. Probably took about two hours uh, to get it out. The only thing I would do is loosen this bolt up a little bit more just for ease of getting it in. But you know, this stays on here. Uh, don't fight with it. I read the directions, believe it or not, and it, it, it did pay uh, to read the directions. A couple of things that we wanted to call out here, I wanted to show you um, the, the four by four actuator. I took that off, and the only reason I took that off is I couldn't get to, couldn't get to the connector to, to get it off. It was covered in, in, in dirt and grime, so I, it was easier just to pull the four bolts, pull it off. I had the fluid drained. I still took a little bit of a bath in, in rear end dope, or in this case, front differential dope. Uh, so the smell, is, the smell is, is real in here right now. What I wanted to call out the main, the main points are the difference in these stub shafts that you can see, all right? So on the new one, um, you can see there's a nice pronounced O-ring here, and you can see the, the spring retention clip. On the old one, the, the O-ring is, is fairly worn away, if not just completely uh degraded and then the spring clip there's there's no retain retainment here you can see this this o-ring has failed it's worn out it's three years old ninety thousand miles on it since this o-ring wore out it was a you know able to allow water dirt grime salt whatever in here which then took a you know took apart this spring clip created this rust in here and the shaft here which will have some you know, a close up, you can see there's a lot of rust in there. Uh, some additional rust jacking, which is, you know, gonna help push that shaft off a little bit, uh, caused it to, to move around because the, the retaining spring was uh, worn out. And you can see the witness marks 
on here where this was just moving up and down, bouncing up and down. So definitely a problem, definitely needed to be changed. Um, you can see on this one here, this is the driver side. We tried to separate this and we couldn't even get it separated, which we know there was some movement in here. We could probably put some spray in here, let it soak and really work on trying to separate it and we could. But when you think about it, what's that done internally? What's going on with the stub shaft splines uh, as well as the CV splines? At a bare minimum, I think you could replace these stub shafts and CV shafts and get away with, you know, without replacing the differential. This customer here uh, does a lot of highway miles, a lot of four by four uh, work with this vehicle. Fluid, you know, had a little bit of a, a stench to it. So they just went ahead and said they wanted the whole differential changed. Uh, so, you know, hey, we'll go for it. Hopefully we can uh, do a video in the future to show you how to, how to change these uh, stub shafts out. Because I think if this is a common problem, uh, seeing these, you know, being able to understand how to change those stub shafts and CV shafts out, that's the way to go. Uh, as long as the rest of the differential seems to be in, you know, good shape, which, you know, 90,000 miles, uh, a lot of highway miles, a lot of four by four, and it's probably the smart move to, to go with here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put this one in, uh, put new CV axles on it as well, take it for a test drive, confirm that the, uh, the vibration's gone, and send it to the customer. My name's Drew Jablonowski with Garage Gurus. Uh, for more videos like this, you know, follow us on our YouTube channel, or you can check us out at our website at garagegurus.tech. We'll see you next time.